California Democrats are taking a closer look into baseball Shohei Otani's mega deal with the Dodgers. The modern day Babe Ruth inked a record shattering $700 million free agent contract in December. He'll be taking home just $2 million per year for 10 years and deferring the remaining $680 million until after his contract is up and he possibly moves out of state. Democrats allege he is trying to avoid California's pricey taxes, which could create a $98 million shortfall for the Golden State. California's top tax rate sits at over 14%. The state controller writes, the current tax system allows for unlimited deferrals for those fortunate enough to be in the highest tax bracket, creating significant imbalance in the tax structures, exacerbates in income inequality. I urge Congress to take immediate and decisive action. Griff. Well, you've got a situation here where you have the, <laughs> w w the, perhaps the most talented guy to ever pick up a baseball bat and throw a baseball. And California looks at him and they say, they claim that he's creating a $98 million shortfall for them that they somehow have a right to because he's an amazing baseball player. This is nuts. The word you use there that's important, the operative word, is right. Does the government, this talented, maybe greatest to ever play, we'll find out, baseball player gets a contract from the LA Dodgers for an un unbelievable amount of money. So he says, great, here's how I'm gonna manage that money. Now California says, hmm, that looks good. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna reach in and take it. So that state controller, just a little heads up. If you move forward with this, you are going to be the reason why Shohei Atani left California and the Dodgers in about 45 minutes, because it's absurd that you would allow the government to count somebody's money and come in and take it because yeah. it looks like a nice pile. It's Look, if you gave the guy 15 scoops of ice cream as opposed to the two that the other players are getting, you can't say, hmm, yum, I'm hungry. I'm going to eat five of yours. Like, it's ridiculous. It's absurd. And by the way, he has the cutest dog in baseball. His name's Decoy. He <laughs> was like beside him at games and stuff. When he you got don't the have MVP a picture award. of the dog, I don't want to hear about gonna, it. Are you, you going to charge, take, like, charge the dog too? Are you going to take the dog? All right. So I, what I love about this, when the contract came out, and it was blockbuster, obviously, and everybody's like, why does he only want $2 million a year? Which, of course, also, I think is, it shows his tremendous wisdom that he's like, you know, $2, two million a year is like chump change for these guys. But of course he's going to move to Florida. Of course he's going to move to Texas after this. And why shouldn't he? Isn't that, you know, so you can say he's gaming the system, but yeah, that's kind of, that's what happens when you have a 14 plus tax rate. Well, that's right. That's the only reason he's willing to go to California and accept this contract is to do it this way. I mean, this is Gavin Newsom's California. I mean, as of January 1st, the 700,000 illegal immigrants living in California now get access to free health care. And that's just one step towards the $3.1 billion a year that California is now pushing for universal health care for all. I mean, that this is their path to socialized state, and everyone's going to have to pay up because you're going to have to pay for it. And it's, and it's a reminder that everything that these people do. Every, everything that these governments do is all about whether they get money. The reason you walk around Was uh, New York City or Washington and smell skunkweed every, everywhere you go is because politicians figure out, how, oh, okay, we'll legalize weed and then take a, uh, get, we'll get a, our cut of, the, of well, the money. And that is what is so sad about California, a state I love dearly and used to live in, and it has really deteriorated in recent decades through the mismanagement by the state government. They've already made it completely hostile to the middle class, and now they're, they're ramping up their war on wealth. They should be, you know, they should have expected something like this, and it is also just unfair to the industries that are there, whether it's baseball or Hollywood, to expect those people to compete with people in other states where they don't have these regressive tax policies. You said and gaming the system, by the way. It's legal. Right. Just point of out, course. this is just a legal diversion. So and it's they like, want, and the guy's they, great at baseball. Let's punish except, him for being except, smart when it comes to Except California dollars. wants to, to undo all that so that it wouldn't be legal. And then, of course, they take the money and they do nothing to improve anybody's life. Okay. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis, you will not get it anywhere else.